Okay, then we're going to pick it up. My Lord, Lord, you. Okay. First, next, let's go to the history. Okay, here's the, the founder of Eugene Schiller, and we'll talk about him in the next slide. Okay, let's first go to the timeline of Oreo. Okay, let's first go to the 1909. This is the first step in constructing a G model. Okay, Eugene Schiller start off by by, make, by inventing a hair, hair dye. Hair dye in 1909, so it's a Parisian hairdresser. It was the first one that we used henna or salt. And it, stand, it means that the word, he named his hair dye Oreo, which in French means golden and halo. And in the 1940s, he focused and to advertise his product on radio, and which it attracted over 50,000 people, which is a lot at that time. On the road to the brand Oreo, which is the case from 1957 to 1983. Next, in 1960, L'Oreal acquires many brand, more brands such as Lancome and Garnier. In, in, and later on, I spent a 20 years old right, copywriter for my and Rita Road because I'm worried it. It's, it's, it later become a slogan for L'Oreal because you're worried or because we are worried. It. And L'Oreal continues to purchase more brands like Maybelline, SC, and Kihel, and in the 1980s, L'Oreal has claimed that it, it, it does not use anymore for testing of its product. But however, accusation occurs due to laboratories in China. Next please. In 1984 to 2000, they both used to become the number one in the beauty industry. Okay, in 1988, Frank Frank Coydale's successor, Charles Sawyer, hands over the remains company to Lindsay Owen Jones. Under his management, it became the number one company in the beauty industry. Okay, and until today, 2001 to the present day. Let's go first to the background. Let's talk about background of L'Oreal. For over a century, L'Oreal have devoted all their energies to only one business, which is beauty. They have chosen the best of cosmetic innovation instead of quality, efficacy, and safety. They are trying to fulfill the mission ethically and responsibly. Okay, that goes for the upcoming years. The goal for our company is to win over a billion customers worldwide by meeting the in infinite diversity of beauty needs and design. Currently, there are 32 brands in L'Oreal portfolio. They have the ambition to, to make this brand meet the of, uh, of the customer habit and lifestyle. Okay, L'Oreal has always has been founded by a scientist. Innovation is an essential part in L'Oreal because they need to like keep innovating because the beauty is an endless journey and innovating make, makes the company have a level high of performance. Next, there are, let's go to the L'Oreal principle. There are four L'Oreal principles which is integrity, respect, courage, and transparency. The ethical principles shape the culture underpin the reputation and must be known and recognized by all L'Oreal employees. Next. How L'Oreal becomes a global, global brand? This is due to three factors. Next. Education, empowerment, and aspiration. Education, because when a female customer buy a product, they, they tend to like get to buying and buying the cosmetic product. In which L'Oreal then try to make like hard to be able to, to make customer know more how to use a product and yeah. empowerment. L'Oreal doesn't doesn't like sell product to make it, their customer just look good. They they make they want to the customer to like feel confident and have strength when, when they do things. So, yeah. And so this is how L'Oreal empowers people. Next with aspiration by sponsoring events such as Golden Growth and Project Runway. L'Oreal has positioned the, Trademark for aspiration. The glamour of our events of high prominence of a fashion show are perfect places for L'Oreal to aspire. Okay, and here this is the end of our presentation.